Today I'm going to show you how you can get a unique list from multiple columns in Google Sheets. Now the end result should be a distinct list of values that's in a single column. Now there is actually a simple function for this, which I wasn't aware of until someone brought it to my attention. I used to use array syntax, which is much too complex. So let's just check out the simple version. Here I have a list of apps that belong to different regions. I want to create a distinct list for the apps in a single column. So notice I have multiple columns here. I want my unique list to return a single column. Now you're probably familiar with the unique function. This function returns a unique list from the provided source range. Let's say my range is just this column here. I close bracket, I press enter, and I'm going to get a unique list for this column. So in this case, I have a unique list, but if button was repeated here, fighter should disappear and button should be there just once. So I'm just going to paste it here as well and notice button ends up showing up just once, right? So I'm going to press control Z to go back. Now there is another argument for unique that says by column. This is something you need if your data is in columns instead of rows. So for example, here, instead of looking at A2 to A13, I want to look at multiple columns, so a single row, then I can turn this argument to true. This time I get the Rambler show up just once. Now, what if we have a matrix, like in this case, can I just do unique and get the whole range? It doesn't work, right? Because it looks through this combination of columns and then it will remove any rows that occurred again, but that combination has to be exact. So for example, if I copy this and paste this right here, I end up seeing that combination here just once but that's not what I want here, right? So I'm going to press Ctrl Z to go back. Instead, I want to get everything in a single column. This is where you can use the flatten function. Before using unique, let me just show you what flatten does. This is going to bring everything into a single column. Okay, so if I scroll down, we can see all the empty cells show up in there as well. Now that we've flattened everything, we can use unique on this flattened version. And now we have a distinct list for our apps in a single column. Now, what if I want to get a distinct list for different columns, columns that are not right beside each other? Well, I can use flatten here as well. So if we take a look at the arguments for flatter, it takes a range and it can take multiple ranges. So one range can be North America. The second range is South America. Now, when I close bracket and press enter, I get my flattened list for these two separate ranges. Now, again, I can put this inside the unique function to get a unique list for the apps. So notice here, the empty cell ended up to be somewhere in the middle. If we want to get rid of that, we can use filter. Now, you can either filter the final unique result, or we can put filter right here and filter the flattened part before we get our unique list. It's really up to you. I'm gonna put it right here. So let's open bracket here. The range that we wanna filter is this, right? So it's basically what we see here right now. Then the condition is that this range doesn't have any blanks. Now there are different ways you can write this. I'm gonna write it this way. I'm gonna copy this because we have to reference the exact same range and I don't want this to equal, so I'm gonna put the does not equal sign and then put quotation, quotation for the blank cells. Okay, now let's check our brackets. This closes the filter function and then let's close off the unique function. Now we got rid of the blanks. Now also, if you want to sort this, you can put this inside the sort function the range that we want to sort is the whole range. And if I close the bracket here, it sorts it by default in ascending order. If you want descending, you'll need to use this argument here. So for the next argument, which is sort column, it's just the existing column, I'm going to put one. And for is ascending, I'm going to put false. So now we have everything in descending order. So this is how you can use the flatten function with unique to get a distinct list. Now I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like to improve your office skills, do subscribe. It's going to be great to have you here as a part of our community. Thank you for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video.